Craig here from North 49, and at times you find it difficult to determine the torsional component of nystagmus when assessing BPPV. Well, if that's the case, this video is for you. So with teasing out the torsional component of the nystagmus, the BPPV, we need to take a step back and, and review anatomy. And here's a model of the right ear. We have the anterior, the lateral or horizontal, and the posterior canal, okay? And really with nystagmus associated with BPPV, the nystagmus is in the same plane as the canal. So that's why with horizontal canal BPPV, the nystagmus is, is lateral, okay? And with BPPV affecting the posterior canal, it's up and torsional. All right, and then anterior canal is, is down and torsional because with the posterior canal, which is the most commonly affected, from front to back, it kind of flares out, okay? And so remember, they're all 90 degrees to each other. So with BPPV affecting the posterior canal, say the right ear, when we go back in the Dick's Hall pike position, we may see upbeat nystagmus, and it's hard to determine the torsional component. Have them look to their right. Because when they look to the right, the um, eyes are perpendicular to the canal, so we'll see more of a torsional component, okay? So remember, the eyes move in the same plane as the canal, so if they're looking to the, their right, in the right Dick's Hall pike position, we'll see more of a torsional nystagmus. And if we have them look to the left, we'll see more of a, the uh, vertical nystagmus, all right? And then vice versa with the anterior canal. So there you go, just a tip you can use to help tease out the torsional component of BPPV. And if you have any further questions, as always, feel free to contact us at North 49.